Yo, what is up guys, welcome to uh, a different, well, a video, <laughs> a big gap, uh, to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the F123 uh, reveal trailer, pretty much. Uh, first things first, just to clear up, I am sorry that I, um, you know, haven't uploaded in how long, like, eight months that's just because the game has been so bad that yeah and i just lost interest in making content for it so uh gave up with that uh two i've been busy with college uh get my it's just been hectic as always so i haven't had time to record anything uh even though i've been streaming on my twitch which i'll leave in the top right hand corner of your screen uh, but yeah today we're going to be looking at the uh, the reveal trailer which got published uh, one day ago and we're going to watch it through fully normal and then I'm going to break it down and then I'll tell you uh, basically what's coming okay so let's watch this video and we'll see uh, and then we'll break it down. Right then, so, uh, I'm not going to watch that because you probably would have seen it, but yeah, we've got Connorsport Butler Global Racing Team, which it will be Breaking Point 2, uh, so yeah, it'll be, you can pre-order now, June 16th, there is a 10% uh, a discount on Steam if you pre-order the stand, no, the Champions Edition, uh, and if you order it by, um, the end of this month, end of May, then you'll get uh, a Las Vegas pack thing. Right. <coughs> so what we're going to do now is play by speed. We're going to slow it down by half speed, and I'm going to go through um, what I think will, like, what this means. Now, a lot, a lot of other people have done better vid, probably do better vid, probably, probably have done better videos than me. Uh, so I'll leave a link to Arav's and I actually have a link to Arav's video, Arav's video, because he goes into more detail about the game and stuff. So, uh, first things first, we have a uh, sky shot of um, we have a sky shot of Imola. Um, now, the the key thing to point out here is the fact that there is more like sun glare, American sun, obviously. Uh, but yeah, and you can see we've got. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Because it's like I can't go through frame by frame. But uh, that 
is, if I play it back a slight bit more, that is the actual Alfa Romeo car. Because, and the reason why we know this is because in F122, we got the the only F123 like tease car that we got was the Alfa Romeo. So the Alfa Romeo car is the only car that's done completely, like yeah. And then we've got uh, the Corner Sport racing car, which is that's I think it's 71. Uh, meaning that it is Devon Butler in and also we are in 2023 uh, yeah as you could tell that it is 71 uh, and now this this is very CGI if I just take it back that is very CGI that's a cutscene that's not actually going to be in the game um but yeah that's just that's it's pretty much like in F1 2021 when we got the CGI cutscenes for breaking point it's the same thing they just use the same thing as now we get a nice view of the beautiful Las Vegas um i think this is the strip it might not be but it's one of the back straights we got the fake eiffel tower and like the amount of detail that they've done is amazing. Uh like just on this bit of the track. It is very good. As you've got uh Max Verstappen, very detailed on the hands. Uh with his EA Sports on his chin because he is uh EA Sports have paid him. Uh have um paid like they've sponsored him for this season. Now we don't know what who this guy is. He I don't we don't know if he's one of the team principals or he could be the team principal of Connor Sport. Uh but we don't know. As we've got some footage of Leclerc and Hamilton in their cars. And these are all this is the new uh generic my team car for this year. As you see it's got a a thinner nose which is a lot better and a reworked side pod which you can't really see from this angle as we've got Mexico there and now this is the new Qatar circuit as well um, with the McLaren in the um, in the generic F123 car <laughs> Oops. Um, I don't know why I keep pausing it <laughs> and we've got this uh, person um, it's not Aiden Jackson or Devon Butler because of the helmet so it's a new character for uh, main breaking point as you see because it's um, Connor Sport and actually there's a there's a sponsor there which could um, maybe suggest that we get that we can put uh, logo like sponsors on the like on the um, I don't know what you call it <laughs> I still don't know what you call it uh, on the thing like uh, let's look at, and maybe on the halo like here where the logo is what I do want is them to have like you can put stickers um, on the inside of the halo like I know we've got them but like you could put other stuff but then that's just using mods which it's kind of okay, but I don't know how to use mods. Now, uh, we don't know who this is yet. We still don't have a name. Well, we do, but it's. Uh, I'll get into it more. Uh, but this is Casper Ackerman. Now, if you don't know Casper Ackerman, Ackerman, Ackerman is he? Uh, we drove as him. Well, we didn't because I didn't do F one. I didn't do Breaking Point uh, on my channel, but other people have. But he was in breaking point and he was Aiden Jackson's teammate. Uh was it for yeah, for the whole story. Um and he event like at the end of the story he eventually retired. So this is it's kind of alright. As you see, uh we've got 
uh, F2 car. She's on the F2. And then we've got Mr. Mr. Butler himself, Devon Butler. It's very drive to survive kind of thing. And now this, this is a 2022. So this is like the first year of Breaking Point 2 that you'll do. The reason why we know that is because one, if you see here, the like they've tried to hide the 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 wide nose, that ugly wide nose, and you see that, uh, and also, uh, as is Aiden Jackson, but also this Hass here, um, it is last year's Hass, so, and you see that it's last year's Hass. And here, and also because this is the silver Mercedes, so it's last year's Mercedes. But also, you can see we get a better oh, we get a better image of it uh, later in the trailer. But the the OSD the display on the steering wheel has had a revamp, which looks very good. To be fair, right. <laughs> then we've got some Charles Leclerc real life footage. As Leclerc and, Amba uh, uh, and Verstappen are like the main ambassadors, kind of for EA, uh, and also this is 2022 as well because, as you saw with uh, previous in the other one, the hit this uh, bit and the halo were yellow. In 2022, they're black. And as you can see from the back there. Now, this is something that actually Tom pointed, Tom97 pointed out. You see here, the pit crew are all in yellow, which means that it's 2022. As obviously you can see from the nose as well. You get a better angle of the nose. Alright, they're all in yellow. So then they forgot the attire. The, the and then, oh, I think pause it quite quite where I wanted it. But here look, they're they're not all in yellow. They're like the overalls. So I'm guessing that this is like twenty twenty three maybe. Kind of, but we don't know. And then we see a shot of Spain with an Alpine and an Alfa Romeo going side by side. We don't get shown the new bit though. Which we don't know if it is coming. Um but here we're at Baku And we've got red flags, which is a brilliant stuff. This is a thing that was last in the game in F1 2011, I want to say. Or it might be now. I don't know. We've been waiting a long time for this, for red flags to return. We've been asking for it every year. I see we've got Devon Butler, as you can see that. It says Devon. Uh, getting frustrated at something. And you got a shot of Silverstone with a Red Bull. Nothing drastically changed. And then it's, uh, here we've got Casper Ackerman again on the pit wall. So it's either uh, these two. Oh, I can't really see. But it's like Casper Ackerman and the person that we saw earlier, this one. <laughs> that face uh, is maybe like high ranks in the team in Connor Sport but we don't know yet as you see the Mercedes this is the 2023 Mercedes uh, crossing the line winning for once you got Max Verstappen uh, got some podium celebration podium things and we've got some Max Verstappen things. <coughs> As this... Uh, was it? I think that's Qatar. I don't I don't know. It might be. It might not be. And then we've got... Uh, if I just slow it down a bit more. We've got a better look of the... Um, 
of the um, thing of the if I pause it right that you could got a better uh, a glimpse of the wheel I see you've got the speed top left time top the ta your lap time top right oh, bad take your uh, there your fuel in the top right uh, position I think there and then you've got your tyre temps for your right, tyre temps for your left tyres, lap counter, gear, and then overtake if it's enabled or disabled. And I think the I think that means that you can use it. That means you can't, like you've run out or something. And then you've got your battery percentage in the middle, which is pretty good. And then I think this is kind of VR because it looks left. Or it could be track IR, I don't know. Then you've got a glimpse of Monaco. And Monza, then you got a glimpse into the wet, and then Monza again, and then a close shot a Russell, and then you've got Cas no not Casper, Aiden Jackson, in. I want to say I keep clicking. I want to say twenty twenty two. Uh, just because of the overalls, I don't know. It could be 2023, but I'm. I think it's my. It could be. I think it is mainly 2022. Um, I think it's after like maybe his engine failure in Miami, or I don't know. And then you've got a glimpse of Australia <coughs> with the two Connor Sport. Um, I think this is 2023. You can't really tell, but you can't really tell. But I think it is 2023. This is this is 2023 because a the livery is different and b um so yeah. So basically, what I learned from Tom 97's video as well is that they've shown round three Australia of 2023, round four which in Baku. And they've also shown round six in Imola from Devon Butler earlier. With his spinning out crashing. And you got side by side at Canada, I think, with an Aston and a Haas from twenty twenty three. And you've got a better indication of the dash and in the wet, but they're on soft tires. You could be like a crossover kind of thing. But we're not sure. Then we've got Monaco with a Alpine and a Ha. Uh, oh my god, it's not a Haas, it's an Avatari. Then we've got this guy who I don't know who it is. It could be Aiden's dad or Devon and it could be Devon's dad. We don't know. Uh, or I don't know either. <coughs> then you've got a pic uh, Aiden Jackson again who's annoyed and then you've got Devon Butler who's not in overalls so what people are thinking is that Butler has been sacked like he's been dropped as a first team driver only because his uh this woman who we think is his sis which is his sister I can't remember her name um is in overalls or Devon has crashed out the race early and trying to catch up with her, but she's annoyed that he crashed out because maybe they had a strong weekend, but we don't know. And then you've got a shot of the Red Bull. Uh, I don't know why. And you've got, uh, is that Mexico? With a cool camera shot of an Alfa Romeo. And then you've got up Austria with a Haas. And then you've got Australia with a McLaren, a Mercedes and a Ferrari. All these are FOM cars, FOM chassis. And also you can tell the Williams is because the Williams has a different steering wheel. Um, then you've got Imola. I hope Imola, the AI are better on it. Now I see Spa 
after Radion, so we don't know if they've updated the tracks. Uh, you've got Austria again, and you've got Monaco. Now, people are saying this has got wider. I don't know, honestly. I know that that was some sort of sponsor, but that could just be the game. <coughs> like, they haven't sorted all the um, advertisement stuff out, advertisement boards out. And then here, um, well, actually, in here, they still haven't got the wall uh, in, but people like it without. Then you've got Singapore, which this year goes straight down there. But by the looks of it, we still do this uh, right, left, left, right chicane. Which some people like, some people don't. I personally, I like it. Um, uh, but, oh, just some people don't. And then you've got hung uh, Hungary, looking back at an Alpine. And you've got, oh, I've balls, I messed that up. Right, back to where we were. Right, so you got, I think it's Hungary. I think it is, yeah. Then you got Silverstone. Now, you can see here, the, da the display is actually off. So, does that mean, like, maybe in the bright, maybe it's, like, corresponding to light? Because in real life, you can't really see the display when we're on board in real life with TV pod. Um, but, I don't know. It could just be something with the game. Abu Dhabi, nothing has changed by the looks of it. Uh, then you've got, I don't know what track, I think this might be Spain, with the same Alpine and Alfa Romeo from earlier. And then you've got another shot of the, uh, oh, not the OSD, the, um, the screen, the display on the steering wheel in the house at Monaco. Uh, has a bit of a moment. And then, and then that's it, right. Because the last bit is if is the question is how how bleh, be the last to break right anyway so now we've looked at the trailer and we've analysed it slightly we're going to look at the F one twenty three website from EA uh, as this like kind of gets into more detail rather than the trailer so. Um, Ba, ba, ba. So headlining with the return of Epic Story Mode Breaking Point. But right, Breaking Point returns. So the enthralling narrative driven story mode Breaking Point makes its return with the more drama and action waiting to unfold. Following the careers of a young upstart Aiden Jackson and infamous protagonist Devon Butler, the pair find themselves as teammates at Connor Sport Racing Team. The most recent team to join the F1 grid. Uh, rising star, Formula 2 and sister to Devon, Kali Meyer, has become the first woman to ever win the F2 championship. So, this probably means that in season 1, well, season, yeah, season part, like season 1 of the breaking point, which is 2022, it will be Jackson and Butler. Um, then, or it, uh, I don't know, because last on F1 2021 on the breaking point, uh, it ended at Abu Dhabi with Aiden Jackson getting on the podium, and I like one of the top like the top team in the um, like academy is looking for you to sign you, uh, but in this one you end up going to Connor Sport, which is uh, Devon Butler's team. Well, not really Devon Butler's team, but <coughs> the team with Devon Butler in. So I think maybe you you do the season with Aiden Jackson uh, or Devon Butler, and then maybe like when you get to Abu Dhabi, F1 season is like coming to an end. And then you drive 
as Kali Meyer in Abu Dhabi for the last race in Formula 2 to win the championship. Um, and then, yeah, it's like this whole cut scene with uh, Kali speaking with Casper uh, to join the team. Um, but then it says, uh, hungry for more success, she is keen to get her shot in Formula 1. <coughs> will Devon or Aiden have to make way for Callie, or will team and family dynamics cause problems? Which probably hints to maybe, where is it, to, th uh, to this. It may link to this, but we don't know. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, there's a lot to, t to look forward to in a story that twists, of t uh, that twists and turns based on choices made along the way. And then you've got a picture of Kali Maya in the media pen. <coughs> we, and it will be called Breaking Point 2. Uh, <laughs> so we've got two new circuits. Uh, so the two incredible racing locations are making that debut in F123 at launch. So you get Las Vegas and Qatar, the low sail international circuit, at launch. So as soon as the 13th or 16th of June hits and the game unlocks for you, you can race those tracks. <coughs> and then goes on to say, the La Salle International Circuit was first raced in 2021, but the Las Vegas Street Circuit is an entirely new layout, never before raced in Formula 1. Uh, that means that in F123, players can take the Vegas trip ahead of the drivers themselves. Uh, as for circuits that don't feature on this year's calendar, uh, so that's France, China and Portugal, uh, they will be included at launch as legacy tracks for use in various different game modes. So that means multiplayer, Grand Prix, time trial, career mode, but we don't know if it's career mode after the first, like for the first season or after the first season. Uh, there's also been handling upgrades, so incorporating actual F1 team feedback. Uh, F123's vehicle handling has some significant improvements over the last game for both wheel and pad players. So new vehicle physics give cars better traction when braking, accelerating and cornering, meaning that people who use no TC won't get wheel spin in fifth gear. Uh, which is why, and to be honest, people, even including F1 drivers said that um, medium TC was more realistic than no TC. So yeah, this uh, allows for more predictable behaviour. Plus, greater balance between aerodynamics and tyre grip results in a more realistic feel. Additionally, precision, precision, precision drive controller technology will give players who play on a pad even more control and confidence in those crucial race moments. So that means that uh, if you're on a controller, it, and if you go from left to right, the wheel, I'm guessing, will take less time to move because on F122 I played a controller for a while and every time I went left and then right I had to turn like a, like 75 meters before the corner and it will actually uh, to make the apex uh, but yeah we've got some community requested features so following community feedback several high requested films being included in F23 red flags making their return to the series after nine years so yeah, it was kind of about 2011, 2012. Uh, we'll add even more drama, with drivers and teams needing to rethink race strategies on the fly as a grid return to the pits. So we don't know what this means, like whenever, if a red flag occurs. <laughs> so like we drive to, like obviously, do we drive to the pits? If we got it on immersive, do you, and then the AI will probably take control, but we don't know until maybe we get some uh, early gameplay from creators. Um, anyway, a new 35% race distance, previously only seen in F1 esports, strikes the perfect balance between short and long race options, while still adhering to the mandatory pit stop rules. So that means 
So 35% raises what F and esports use, as it says. And I'm surprised people asked for it. Because it, it wasn't in the public's build of the game, but it was in esports build. Uh, but yeah. Oh, also, a new colour encoding system, similar to that used in film and TV, has been implemented across the game, resulting in a more true-to-life visual experience. So, uh, if I go back. So this is going to make it more realistic than this. So they changed the colouring gradient. So it's more realistic. Uh, now, introducing F1 World. Uh, serving as you go to place for all things F1 and with content inspired by the F1 calendar, F1 World makes its debut in F1 23. F1 World helps introduce players to the complex world of Formula 1 by trying to gather multiple game modes such as Time Trial, Grand Prix and Multiplayer, offering an exciting new way to enjoy the game. Featuring an, ev an ever-changing roster of seasonal content with daily and weekly challenges to get stuck into, drivers can unlock new liveries, race suits and helmets as part of the new progression system. We don't... we can't... some people have... kind of have an idea of how the progression system will work, but I don't know how it will work. I'm guessing if you get... Um, like if you do a certain amount of lap, valid lap, in time trial you get this if you overtake this many cars in Grand Prix mode you get this if you win a certain amount of races in uh, in multiplayer lobby then you get this if you set a fastest lap in a race you get that yeah, so on so on so but yeah unlock new livery so that's basically kind of the podium pass uh, but then it's kind of not but anyway uh, so, by advancing through F1 World, players will improve their tech level. So, I'm guessing that means, like, the higher tech you are, like, the more parts you get. But we don't know, like, like the tech part, tech level. Hmm, interesting. Uh, and unlock parts and team member upgrades to equip to the F1 World car. So, this could mean that we finally don't have to like we only have the FOM chassis model like we can change the model of the car like and how like we could go no side pods like the Mercedes or uh, like uh, I don't know like a small front wing end plate like Red Bull or I don't know, like different halo designs, but yeah, uh, and improving various performance areas. Uh, as tech level increases, more challenges and events become available. So I'm guessing maybe the lower the tech level you are, like you get, obviously you get less challenges than if you're a higher one, <coughs> but like you, I don't know, like you're able to do multiple challenges at once. Say like I'm, say like I'm tech level one or something and my friend is tech level four. They get, they all get like maybe four more challenges and events than me to complete. But we don't know yet. Uh, but linking online and offline play in F1 World, a new safety rating system encourages drivers to race cleanly and pairs like-minded drivers more efficiently for improved online racing. Now this probably means it's a, it might be a bit like eye racing. Like if you're, so the game will probably measure how many warnings you get, how many penalties you got in a race, like, um, how many incidents you're involved in, and pretty much the cleaner you are, the higher safety rating you will get, pretty much. It's probably like high rating. It's like you get the top, I don't think anyone's get the top safety rating, but 
and then you crash by causing a collision by like going to the back of somebody and that drop that will drop your safety rating <laughs> and then people are like where's my i'm lost my eye rating <laughs> but it's going to be f1 rating uh but yeah here we go right the f1 23 champions edition so this is basically like the editions now different versions of the game so if you pre-order which you can now pre-order the digital f1 23 champions edition Featuring two time reigning world champion Max Verstappen on the cover, it comes with the following content a time limited Las Vegas content pack, which is available until the 31st of May 2023. You get a Max Verstappen racewear pack, which is, uh, in fact, I'll just, uh, if I get it up on Steam, there we go. Uh, right. So you see, uh, you've got all the about this game stuff, right? So here, the editions include F1 world items, pick coin, uh, all this. Uh, it doesn't really say, but I'm guessing it will be similar to what we got in. Um, ba -ba 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 what's it called in F1 2021, where we got, um. The Miami, when I got introduced into the game, we got Miami Miami livery, helmet, suit, gloves. So it would probably be the same as that. Uh, Max Verstappen racewear pack, which is helmet, livery, suit, and gloves. I think, or it might be less. It might just be the helmet, the suit, and gloves that you get. Uh, you get breaking point two icons and vanity pack item pack. So that. I think you you're actually able to use Connor Sport like the team liveries in your F1 my team career mode, um, which is good. And also you can I think you can use it might not be in my team, but you're able to. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to use Aiden Jackson or Devin Butler in my team, but you might be able to use their faces like as your character. But we don't know. Uh, then you've got Dual Entitlement, which is uh, just PlayStation and Xbox only. I don't know what that is. Dual Entitlement. I don't know. But anyway, then you get four new My Team icons, which we don't know who they are yet, but somebody, because they're on Xbox, has leaked it and put it all over Twitter. So it might be Nigel Mansell, Jamie Chadwick, um, I can't remember the other, and uh, Kobayashi. I can't remember who the other one is. Uh, but people were complaining. You get an XP boost of... We don't know yet. Just get an XP boost to help. Maybe with F1 World. Speaking of F1 World, you get an F1 World bumper pack, which is... We don't know. Um, What does it mean? It just doesn't. It just says, "Oh, uh, yeah." So you get a bumper pack, uh, which is I think it includes the starter pack from if you pre-order the standard edition, as you see down here. Uh, you get eighty thousand pit coins over the five thousand pit coins you get standard, and you also get three days early access starting the thirteenth of June, twenty twenty-three. Uh, and if you order the standard edition, you'll get it the sixteenth of June. Which is the 16th of June is literally five weeks today as I am recording this. Uh, so yeah, and that's it. So that is it for F1 23. For what we know, it is a lot of information to be fair, but there is still a lot more still to come. Uh, we have, we should have gameplay trailer, and maybe a, another trailer to come, maybe, but we don't know yet. So keep your eyes peeled and subscribe to the channel if you are uh, new and wanting to uh, see me. I will be doing my team career mode, hopefully, if I remember. Uh, and also I'll be doing Breaking Point 2 uh, story mode. I don't know when I'll be doing them, but I will be doing them during this game. Hopefully it's better. Uh, so yeah, 
If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Sorry that, you know, there's been a massive gap between videos. I think it's been like seven months or eight months maybe. But anyway, uh, a lot more content from me to be coming over the next couple of months maybe. Uh, with F123 reveal uh, being uh, dropping and some other trailers which I will be covering. Uh, probably not as soon as they come out, but a couple of days after. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this, as I said before, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next video. But for now, that's been me, I'm for one. <laughs> Over and out. Goodbye.